How you guys look fuck here and welcome to another FIFA 19 player review and today I'm going to be reviewing the 90 rated player of the month for March, Sadio Mane. His car looks absolutely fantastic. Um, for the most part, I know a lot of his um, attack and stats across the board look very, very strong indeed. He did cost me in the region of 10,000 coins to complete his own SBC and in the four games that I played him with, he scored me two goals and got me one assist and he does have a four star record as well as four star skill. Moves. They're moving along to his game stats. His main standout stats are going to be his 96 positioning, his 93 finishing his 96 agility and finally his 92 dribbling and I also had the artist chem style applied to this Mane card and also guys there's going to be a lot of prime icon moments and prime icon reviews coming out this weekend EA released like six or seven uh, icon species which is fantastic so later on tonight I'm going to be back with a Schmeichel and Gary Lineker prime icon moments reviews so make sure you guys stay tuned for those but we're going to start off with Mane since he was the first card to be released today at around um Five o'clock, I think it was. I've been waiting for this guy to be released all day, but uh, his car looks pretty decent overall. And if you do his SPC from scratch, uh, according to Fulpin, he will cost you just over 300,000 coins. Actually, it's around 325k, but um, you know, in the face of it, it's not a bad car for 325k, but at the same time, he's going to get a team of the season card in the next four to five weeks, depending on when team of the season is released. Obviously, it's going to be May by the looks of it, so we're not too far away from a team of the season money. And at the same time, you know, putting 300,000 coins into a player this close to team of the season is that going to be your best move? Well, we'll talk about that a little bit later on and I'll give my own verdict on whether I would recommend doing this SPC. But first of all, let's talk through the pros to him. I put him in a mixture of division rivals and foot champs games, and for the most part, he did fine. Um, I don't think he's insane. First of all, I wouldn't do his SPC just because he purely doesn't fit my team. Uh, my team doesn't have any wingers. It just ha the, It's the four triple two formation, so it, it's it's all central-based players, uh, so he wouldn't fit into my team regardless, but um, I had to kind of use him in a different team. And, you know, yeah, he he did play decent, and his first pro was actually going to be his pace. I thought that was one part which really, really stood out to him. 99 acceleration and 96 sprint speed was absolutely fantastic. Very, very quick down that left-hand side. He's also got that 89 stamina, so you don't have to worry about him getting uh, tired or anything like that. That's obviously very important as well for uh, foot champions and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, you know, wingers, especially at this stage of EFA, you really need to rely on them having good pace because they're coming up against very good centre-backs and very good full-backs and stuff like that. So, definitely, uh, his pace was fantastic. You know, his, his movements on and off the ball was always really, really good, but he definitely he had to rely on his pace a lot of the time as well, um, you know, to be able to take on defenders and get into those really dangerous areas and stuff like that. Also being able to cut into the centre part of the midfield and stuff like that, he was more than able to do. And a lot of it was down to his really, really good pace just off the mark and how he could continue. Like, even when he had the ball, uh, he was still really, really quick. And, you know, obviously when a player's got the ball and a defender's trying to catch up to them, usually the defender sometimes can catch up to them because you are you always run quicker 99% of the time when you don't have a ball at your feet than when you do have the ball at your feet but um there were still times when Marnie had like the ball of you know had the ball at his feet I, I, I might I might sound really confused in the way I'm explaining this at the moment but yeah in general his pace is just fantastic let's just say it as that it's it's, it's really really good um and the second pro as well is going to be his dribbling again really really strong I, I touched on before you know how good his movements on and off the ball was and how he could cut into the center part of the midfield and stuff like that which I often like to do with attackers uh, or wingers should I say but um, yeah that 96 agility goes up to 99 his balance goes up to 95 his ball control and dribbling both going up as well to 99 which is fantastic again in game really really good indeed and I was able to create chances thanks to dribbling and, uh, and able to get into good positions and stuff like that was absolutely fantastic he's also got the four star skill moves as well which is also very nice now that's where the pros end to him they got me one assist in four games now, I won't lie to you obviously that's not the most fantastic return at the same time that he still provided good passes and stuff like that, linked up well, provided a lot of key passes, so often like he'd make the pass, it goes to another player, and then they would make the assist, so he definitely still had a lot of uh, involvement in, you know, getting goals for the team and stuff like that, he definitely played a part in a lot of the attacking moves that would lead to goals and stuff like that, but he just often wasn't directly involved in getting the actual assist, but uh, even so, he still played well with the attack and linked up with them very well indeed, and then Tim's his finishing, overall, um, I couldn't figure out at first whether he was a left foot or a right foot, and I should have checked. And I never did. Uh, I kept forgetting to. So often I get into positions where I wasn't sure whether to shoot with his left or right. Now actually, it shouldn't really matter because he's got a four-star weak foot. But um, yeah, I, I think I was. I think I kept shooting on the left foot too much, which is actually his weaker foot. But um, finishing wise, he was he was you know he was okay. Hit the post on one occasion. Was unlucky not to get a to get a third goal. But. Um, 
Yeah, the the two goals that he did score to be fair were actually pretty decent. Overall, his finishing like it, it's fun. It, you know, it's it's good, but it's not like fantastic. It's not out of this world. I've used a lot of other wingers that got better finishing and stuff like that than this card, but um, you know, it's not bad. And, and in terms of cons, I don't really have any cons. So I think his strength for a wing is actually not too bad. And I think overall, would I would I recommend paying over three hundred thousand coins for him? Probably not. I think there's other good wings that you can go for in the Premier League. You know, like Hazard and stuff like that. They're much cheaper and just as good a card in terms of stats and stuff like that. But um, and also for the fact that if you really if you want a money card, just wait till team of the season because I think a team season money will cost what 500 600k and is going to be a tradable card as well. This is an untradable card, you're not going to get your coins back from him. And I think you just best wait into the team season card, that's going to be an even much better improvement on this card, like a 94 95 rated bit. Uh, yeah, personally, I'd stay clear with this, uh, of this SPC, but he's still not the worst card in the world. But anyway, guys, that is going to finish up this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.